San Diego is not up yet, but I will have it up by tomorrow. I'm sorry for the delay. Yes, you do have to get tickets. It'll be $20 like most events, and I'll have that up. But you can register for the parent conference right now. You can register for the parent conference right now, okay? Also, I'm looking for venues in St. Louis, Kansas City, Charleston, South Carolina. We found a venue in Chicago, so Chicago, you will see me, Black History Month in Chicago. Something's going on in Chicago because... I don't understand why we had all those killings. I heard the statistics in Chicago about the murder. Okay, what was it? 800 bodies almost. Chicago had its highest homicide count since 1997, I believe they said. Chicago had its highest homicide count since the 90s. Chicago, what is going on? And I believe that a lot of these murders and my heart go out to the families of all black people who've been murdered. And my heart goes out to Chicago. In Chicago, you know we have a special relationship because you guys helped make me. You helped start the career of Dr. Umar Johnson from the international perspective. So, you know, there's a special relationship there with Chicago as it relates to my history. I believe that. Until I see evidence to the contrary, I believe that. Facts. Facts. Chicago is a test case. And I think we're going to see more of these mercenary armies. The purge is real. The purge is real. The purge is real. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you to all of my haters. I want to say thank you to all of my haters. Okay? For going out of your way to give me so much publicity with all the fake pages on Instagram and all the fake pages on Twitter and all the fake pages on Facebook and Snapchat. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank all of my haters, all of my detractors, all of the trolls that are always on my posts. I want to thank you for the negative publicity because by doing that, you heighten other people's awareness and consciousness of who Dr. Umar Johnson is. If it wasn't for my haters, I wouldn't be as big as I am. If it wasn't for my haters, I wouldn't be as successful as I am. If it wasn't for my haters, okay, I would not be as global as I am. So I want to say thank you to all you trifling, dusty hotel Negroes who have nothing but negative things to say about me because you have brought a lot of people. You have brought a lot of people to the Dr. Umar Johnson movement. So I want to thank you and I encourage you to keep it going in the new year. 
Thank you for the millions and millions and millions of dollars of free publicity that you dusty hoteppers like to give me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'm probably going to have a Mars haters. We're going to have a banquet, and we're going to give out a lot of awards. We have a lot of awards to give out. We're going to have hater of the year. We're going to have hater of the month, top media hater, okay, top character assassination hater, top fundraising hater, top doctoral degree hater. We're going to have a different award for every aspect and every accomplishment of Dr. Umar Johnson, okay? So thank you, haters, okay? Thank you to the haters. Now, as it relates to the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy fundraiser, it is amazing that I get so many questions about the money. What is he doing with the money? Well, guess what? Go fund me. Listen. Listen. Go fund me. Sent me an email a couple of weeks ago. Y'all don't know this. They temporarily froze my GoFundMe account. This is why I was down for a day. Y'all remember there was a day or two where my GoFundMe was down. You know why it was down? Because my haters sent letters to GoFundMe claiming that I was a fraud, that I was not serious about what I'm doing, that I was spending the money. And so GoFundMe said, we need evidence that you still have this money. We need evidence that you're actually trying to build a school. We need evidence of your credentials. This was GoFundMe the day that the page froze. So what I did was I sent GoFundMe a copy of the account ledger. I sent them a copy of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy account. I said, here, as you can see, there hasn't been a single withdrawal from this account since it was opened almost two years ago. Not a single withdrawal. And then I gave them the bank information and I said, feel free to contact my bank and verify that the information you see on that statement is accurate. And you also have permission to ask them if any withdrawals have been made from this account since it opened. GoFundMe did their investigation. They came back. They apologized and said we had to do this because your people, here we go again, your people, here we go again, your people were contacting us making accusations against you. We apologize that we froze your account during the holiday season. We apologize, but we had to because we were getting letters from people who were claiming you were not what you claim to be. So then I had to give them information on my university credentials because again, you trifling Negroes. Okay, and I'm talking to the haters, okay? Not every, the haters. Y'all been claiming that I don't have no doctorate. I'm not a school psychologist. I ain't been doing this for almost 20 years. Okay, so I had to show them I graduated from Millersville University of Pennsylvania, bachelor's in psychology, bachelor's in political science, master's in school psychology. Feel free to contact. I had to tell them I got my master's and my principal certificate from Lehigh University. I told them to contact them. I had to tell them I got my third master's and my doctorate from PCOM. Feel free to, con to contact them. Okay. And then the Frederick Douglass thing came up, so I had to give him that. I'm a direct descendant of Stephen Henry Bailey, my four times great grandfather, who was Frederick Douglass's first cousin, half brother by virtue of slavery. I am a direct blood descendant of Isaac and Betsy Bailey, just like Frederick Douglass. I'm a direct blood descendant of Isaac and Betsy Bailey, just like Frederick Douglass. Family tree 
Here we go. Contact them. See if I'm not blood. So y'all know I had to go through this for my doctorate. I had to go through this for GoFundMe. What else I had to go through this? Something else y'all did. What else did they do, y'all? The doctorate, the credentials, the GoFundMe, the bloodline. But to make a long story short, brothers and sisters, these haters, oh, also the IRS had contacted me too because they wrote to the IRS. I want y'all to know how far they go. So when you guys take up for wow. me, I thank you guys for taking up for me. They've contacted the IRS. Okay. You know, this this is what they do. This is what they do. Um, But I want to thank them. I want to thank them because you can only fly against the friction of the wind. You can only fly against the friction of the wind. So I want to thank you haters for all the negativity that you have brought to my life because it has only made me more resolute. It has only made me more determined. It has only made me more committed to build heaven on earth for our black boys. Now, I looked at a school in Atlanta yesterday. I actually got inside. Y'all didn't see me inside, but the owner showed up and we got a chance to go inside. It's not a large school. It's a 220 student school. It needs some work. But let me tell you what I do like about the school I saw in Atlanta yesterday. Okay? It has a very large backyard. Y'all saw that on the... Very large. So I'm looking at the football field. I'm looking at the basketball court. There is no inside gym. And then the other side of the yard. You know what I want to do with that? I want to turn that into a physical training center where we have our own manhood training combat station where they got to climb through the mud and lift up and do the pull-ups and do the straight thug workout. You feel me? The Pan-Africanist workout and where they got to climb up the ropes, the same type of training you get in the military, the same type of training you get in the military. I would like to do that training gym for the boys so they can stay in shape and build that alpha male energy, that physical alpha male energy. Now there's no gym inside the school, but excellent outside the school. And, and he's giving me the price ain't bad. He said, because the school is just under a million. The school is just under a million. But the owner, who is white, he said, I will work with you. You give me this amount down and this amount a month, and I will work with you direct buyer to seller agreement. So with the good thing about the Atlanta school, I ain't got to get no bank. I ain't got to get no bank loans. He said he will work with me on at least the own type of deal. So when I come back for Martin Luther King Day, Atlanta, when I come back for Martin Luther King Day, Atlanta, I need my Atlanta family, my Georgia family, I need some contractors, some plumbers, electrician, structural engineer, I need him to walk through that school. He said, I can get, he said, it's no problem. Just call me. I can get you back in. So what I need you guys to do, Atlanta, text me 215-989-9858. Do you know of some reliable, con I don't need no Jack Lee, no Jack. I need people with paperwork. This is serious now. This is the people's money. I need people with paperwork. But when I come back that weekend, King Day is on Monday the 16th. So I'm going to come on Friday or Saturday. So I'm hoping on Saturday or Sunday, I can bring a team to walk through that school for one or two hours and tell me, Doc, if you get this school, this is what it's going to take to get it in order so I can do the numbers because the Atlanta school does look financially doable, brothers and sisters. The Atlanta school does look financially doable. Now, I know it only does 220 students. So guess what I'm thinking we might do? If we do the Atlanta school, we may have a day school, right? The day school for, let's say we do uh, kindergarten, first, second, and third in the day. So they go to school from, you know, seven, 
8 to 3, okay? And then we have an evening school for the 4th, 5th, 6th graders, and they may come in the evening time. It's a, now, parents who don't want that, they don't have to. You follow? Or we might go a little bit higher and say, guess what? We're going to do a 7th and 8th grade academy in the evening where they go from like three until eight. They get dinner, they get the instruction, they get their manhood training, everything from like a three to eight, they go home and then they go to bed. So we may operate a day school and then we may operate a evening school. Now I'm gonna have to check the law because I don't know if children can go to school in the evening. If they can't, then we won't be able to. But even if we don't do that, guess what I'm gonna do? We're gonna start a GED program Okay, and we're going to get in contact with the local school district and see if the local school district will certify us at that school, okay, to develop and implement a high school diploma evening program. Listen to me, family. You know how they kick our kids out of high school? Behavior, truancy, violence. We want to get permission from the district to give out a high school diploma for those who need alternative education. So when the, when the babies are done at 3 o'clock, then guess what? The teenagers will come in from 4 until 9 and they will get their African history. They will get their economic science. They will get their military and political science. They will get their manhood training. And so now we're operating an alternative high school. An alternative special high school at nighttime twilight program for the babies. For the for the teenagers, the babies, I'm still calling them babies, the teenagers, so they can get a regular high school diploma. Facts. 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 And then the school district, if they want, they can enter into a contract with the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. A contract with the Frederick Douglass, because I don't want no donations and no grants. We don't do that. This is Garveyism. This is guerrilla Garveyism right here. So they want they can enter into a contract where we provide the alternative education services for so-called delinquent, maladjusted African American high school students. They get an FDMG alternative high school diploma. Facts. For those of y'all who got, you know, we had parents called today. The 15-year-old dropped out. The 16-year-old got kicked out. The 17-year-old went to jail. They won't let him back. So how about high school? alternative education in the evening at FDMG facts so Atlanta Atlanta if you know some contractors please send them to me text me because I we only got two weeks we ain't got time to play we got two weeks okay so we got the Atlanta scenario in play Detroit I will be back in Detroit to look at Detroit public schools on the 19th and 20th of January Detroit I need you to do the same thing text me engineer plumber structural engineer agri architectural engineer plumber electrician contractor so when I look at the Detroit schools on one day the next day we can come back and have the contractors the the, the building crew walk through and tell me what we need so that's Detroit in play Atlanta is in play. I still have some schools in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Delaware I have to look at, okay? But Detroit and Atlanta are looking good. Detroit and Atlanta are looking good. Detroit and Atlanta are looking good. Now, let me deal with this other thing where Negroes is talking about why can't you start small? So you mean to tell me that your expectations for our community are so low. Your expectations for our community are so low that for Dr. Umar Johnson to say that I want to start with a real school building, a real school building, the building in Atlanta is only 220 students. So you mean to tell me because I want to start with a real school building, I'm starting too big? I'm are you serious right now? For real, I'm starting too big? Are you serious? But you spend $9 billion on Weave and Perm. You spend $2 billion on Air Jordan. You spend $4 billion on alcohol and malt liquor. You buy three times the Mercedes Benzes of white folk with only a third of the wealth. 
You spend billions of dollars on Christmas, and because I want to give our children a real school building, I'm starting too big? I need to start small? So you want me to just start another homeschool? So you mean to tell me that's how you think about our kids? That you don't care if they just stuck in homeschools for the rest of their life? You don't care if they just stuck in a, a storefront, okay, where school is being held inside of the church or school is being held in, 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 in the little corner store that used to be a, 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 a liquor joint? I mean, that's enough for you. You're fine with that. You're fine if Dr. Umar Johnson just, just goes open up a little rinky-dink homeschool operation where all the kids are crowded into the kitchen and crowded into the living room, and I can only work with a couple of them. You're fine with that. That's what you think about the future of black folks. That's what y'all think about the future of black people. You're comfortable. You're comfortable with our kids, with all these millions of dollars we got. You're comfortable with our kids existing existing in a makeshift, underdeveloped, undersupported, underfunded school operation. That's not me, brothers and sisters. I'm not into that. I am a nation builder. I am a nation builder. And as a nation builder, we deserve institutions and our children deserve institutions and they deserve a place where they can run around. You can't run around at no homeschool. They deserve that. They deserve that family, and that's exactly what I'm going to give them. They they deserve that. You don't see Jewish kids running around at the home school. They got Jewish schools. You don't see the Chinese kids running around at the home school, little makeshift storefront, little ghetto-fied Afrocentric academy. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You can do that, but I'm not going to do that because that's not what I was put here for. That's not what my ancestors put me for, put me here for. I got six degrees, damn it, and I'm going to use every one to help our children. I'm going to use the doctorate. I'm going to use the three masters. I'm going to use every credential, every day of experience and expertise that I got because our children deserve better. Facts. And what I don't understand is if you don't agree with me, I respect you. You don't have to agree with me. Go do your own school. Do my supporters understand me when I see my supporters is filling I'm one, if you don't agree with Dr. Umar, move on. Do your own school. Why we only got to have one person working on the same initiative? We should have 100 people building their school. If you want to do homeschool academies, go do it. You want a charter school, go do it. I haven't stopped anybody from starting their own school. We have millions of black children. We have millions of black children who need this education. We got millions. So you ain't got to be on my team. Go start your own team. You got a lot of schools already out there. Go and help them. But you Negroes gravitate to me hating because you jealous. It ain't about the school. You jealous, you envious, you wish it was you, you wish you had the program, and so you hate because you cannot be me. You don't want to be me. This is a hard job. You might see the benefits, but you don't see the detriments. It's work involved in this. Every step you take, somebody trying to destroy you, you don't want that kind of life. That ain't no way somebody should have to live. You got to watch what you say on the phone. You got to watch how you interact with people because there's always somebody looking to destroy you. You don't want that life. So if you don't want to support me, you don't have to. Keep it moving. Just like my supporters were telling y'all on the, on the lobby. They're coming on there hating. What you here for? What are you here? If you don't like the man, why do you keep coming to his platform? You know why? Because you really do like me, but you can't say it. You really do appreciate me, but you can't say it. You really do love Dr. Umar Johnson, but you can't say it. In fact, a great man once said that jealousy and envy is nothing more than negative admiration and adulation. Jealousy and envy is nothing but negative admiration and adulation. I don't put myself above nobody. I'm no better than y'all. If you've ever been in my space, you know that I'm a very humble brother. 
I don't leave a lecture until I've signed everybody's book. I don't leave a lecture until I've taken every picture. I don't leave a lecture if the elders got to holler at me. I make sure the elders get their time. You see how I operate. I'm the only one who does that. Do you understand? So you know I'm real. You know I'm real. And you hate me because you wish I wasn't real. See, I'm supposed to be a fraud. I'm supposed to be a fraud. Six degrees pushing the RBG platform with six degrees? Why is this Negro worrying about saving poor black folks when he could be making millions and millions of dollars? He must be a fraud. Let's see the degrees. Well, guess what? You can contact the university, get the credentials. Y'all sent the IRS after me. Y'all sent GoFundMe after me. Y'all done sent everybody y'all can send, and I'm still here, and I'm not going nowhere. So deal with it. Facts. I'm still here, and I'm not going nowhere because I've been assigned on this mission by the ancestors. This is an ancestral movement. It is bigger than me. I am not the movement. It is coming through me. Supreme consciousness is using me to get a job done. If you got eyes, you can see this. And don't get me wrong, I'm humble. I didn't want to accept it myself. But this is what I'm told about the spiritual community, the priests and the Ianifas and the Babalawos and the Santerias. They tell me, listen, you are different. Not better, but you're different. Your mission ain't like no one else's in the conscious community. That's just the way it is. You're going to be attacked more because your goal is greater. And the reason you can't walk away from it, Ifa Tunde, no matter how much you want to, is because the ancestors sent you to do this job. You cannot quit it. We don't know how it's going to turn out. But what we do know is it's bigger than you and it's bigger than us. So stay the course. So stay the course. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes, but you got to get right back on focus. The mistakes will make the work harder, but what God has ordained for you, nobody can take. Keep going. Don't worry about the detraction. Keep going. Your haters are supposed to be there. They part of the equation. Keep going. So that's all. That's all. I'm just a regular brother. Okay, an ordinary brother who's been chosen to do a super ordinary thing. Okay, you got to ask the ancestors. I don't know. I don't know why they came into the ghettos of North Philadelphia. I don't know why they came into the ghettos of North Philadelphia, 8th and Susquehanna Avenue. Okay, dead broke poverty. Shout out to all my North Phillyites out there. Shout out to West Philly, Southwest Philly, South Philly, Germantown, Northeast, Dogtown. Shout out the East Oak Lane, West Oak Lane. But the ancestors came into the ghetto. And for some reason, they chose my parents. And on Nat Turner's birthday, I came forth with an old dude that said this is his job. I don't know. I don't know why me. I don't know that. I'm not even worrying because I'll never know until I go on that side. So just let me do me. You think it's a coincidence that the next full solar eclipse is on August the 21st? You think that's a coincidence? You think that's a coincidence? You think it's a coincidence that we have a solar eclipse? There's going to be one in February, and then there's going to be one in August. There's going to be one in February, and then there's going to be one on August the 21st. Do you think that's a coincidence? Do you know the Matt Turner story? Are you aware that Nat Turner saw an eclipse and that was his trigger to begin the revolution? Are you aware? Are you aware that the year that the bloodiest slave revolt in American history got started, there was an eclipse in February and an eclipse in August? And so here we are in 2017 and it's going to be another eclipse in February and an eclipse in August. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I'm just an ordinary brother trying to do a super ordinary thing. I want to shout out my supporters. I love y'all. All the sisters. I love my queens. 
Shout out to all the queens out there, all my brothers who got my back, who stand beside me. I appreciate you, brothers. Okay, it's, it's been a lovely journey. It has its ups and downs, but we got a new year. We're going into it optimistically. We got the first international black consciousness convention popping. The first international black consciousness convention popping. And this is going to be a great thing, y'all. This is going to be a great thing. So we're going to be strong. We ain't worrying about the hate. We appreciate the hate because you're giving me free marketing. Y'all giving me free pages and you think you hating, but when people find out who I am, they're like, wow, thank you, haters. This man helped me with my son. Thank you, haters. This man changed my life. Thank you, haters. This man confirmed what I've been thinking. Thank you, haters. This man gave me an idea for a business. Thank you, haters. This man inspired me to go into business. So I thank you, haters. Thank you. Keep going. So, brothers and sisters, I'm going to end it on that note. We will be back again next Tuesday, Black Parent Teleconference. Next Tuesday, I will still be in Philly. Okay, so next week's call will be from Philadelphia. Okay, and we're going to end it on that note. One God, one aim, one destiny.